sometimes as an artist you have a lull in that creative flow. Some people call it a wall or a block or whatever. And I kind of, kind of had one with this little guy here. I, I didn't know whether it was going to be making it some screaming dude that, that was shooting a, a ray gun. I didn't know whether I was going to do that. I mean, you see, I kind of got a, he's got a mouth right there, and maybe that'll be a mustache, or I don't know, I'm just putting stuff together until it looks like it's going to be something. Um, now, I've, I've noticed I've used a lot of keys on this one, and I'm not really sure why. I thought maybe I was going to make this into like a little clown like dude with his those keys use his fingers and I, I didn't like that very good I don't know why I I just didn't like it and I, then I put this through here because it fit through there and well I want everything to kind of flow naturally and I, I kind of want to have that defined sort of artwork that I'm creating um, I don't want to have to solder anything um, although I've thought about it on a couple things but I don't know I don't know if I want to put a torch on it and somehow ruin the uh, tangibility of the authentic shape in which I got it um, I don't really want to have to do much to it if I do have to change it if I do have to bend it or twist it I kind of want to leave it with its the shape that I've got just so it's less work for me to have to do really but there is as you can see some uh, gnarly type bending that I have to do this is solid copper here and this is just copper tubing but it still takes a while to bend and you have can't really bend bend it a whole lot because you'll have a chance of kinking it and then you just ruin the whole piece um, I think I finally came to a definition of what I'm going to do with this guy. I I've, I've been tinkering with some other things here, and there's one I got some. I got a pair of calipers here, and a spring, and uh, some of them chrome rotatey things that I had that go together. And then I have this scientific. Uh, I guess it's a thing that you plug into a, a drip feed for something uh, something chemical I'm guessing uh, it's his name is Fisher um, anyway and I put this all together and I've come up with this and it kinda looks like a bull's head so um, I'm gonna keep continue working on what is going on here I'm just twisting it to where I have connections until I can make something that can always get bigger down using that reverse bracketing type technology that I was talking about earlier is just kind of working from the the outer webs of the bracket and trying to brace them down into one singular solid piece whether it's a connection like a swivel going to a hinge that goes to a thread that goes to a hole that goes to a, a brace that goes to another hole that goes to you feel me it gets kind of complex but when you continue to work on them they eventually take their own shape which is what art that's what artists mean when they say they don't know what they're doing they're just putting stuff on the paper or whatever sometimes they do and sometimes it's to the point where they can look at a piece of wood and go that's what that's going to be and I don't have that visibility so I just think but I do have the visibility of seeing oh look those can be a pair of eyes and those can be some eyebrows and that can be a nose you know and eventually it turns into a head and eventually I can put it onto a body of some sort or another piece of art that will come up probably from this guy because I decided to put this bull head on here somehow I'll take it all apart and put uh, 
a bull head on here so this guy can be like a guy riding a bull right and then this guy can be the rodeo clown so because I've already kind of got him he's got his got his eyebrows here and 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 the gears and then I got these like his two big eyes right and I still might do something up here because I got to make this guy a rodeo guy or do and I can still keep that there that's his mouth I'm thinking it was an old bolo tie and it kind of looks like he's screaming like yeehaw or whatever and this the keys I figure I'm going to use as a fringe for his coat I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet maybe this can be his knees that were that are coming up right so his knees will be coming up from the hinges here that I have to have to work some sort of thing with the the hinges so they can be kind of movable so his he can have some sort of movability that's another thing I kind of like with my art is I want they can be moved because nothing is soldered nothing can be broken it can all be bent for real <laughs> you know it's there anything can be bent so like I said I, I don't know what I'm doing yet but I've come up with an idea that's what I'm going to do because I've, I kind of like the way that this kind of looked turned out like a like a mechanical ball or something you know with his with his maybe I can tie his bridle here or tie the rope for around his around his thing so it looks like we use some wire or maybe I could get creative and use leather I don't know but that's kind of what I'm doing right now is putting this stuff together and that's the idea that I've come up with so just let you all know where I was at with my my messy table full of different ideas this one I've you know this guy's kind of kind of cool he's got a couple eyeballs here and this thing when this thing turns is like his eyeball lifts up and down but I don't know whether I want to use that as as a head or whether I want to use it as a body and I've got these just kind of wired up here because well once again I don't know what I'm doing screwed on this plate of copper because it kind of goes with the the way that this thing works um, and then from this piece of copper um, that I was a scrap piece and I didn't want to have to cut it squared or whatever I need blah 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 so I just left that on there because I can always turn that into um, maybe a curl on his head or or something because I, I want to have a, like a duality with my artwork as well so I want to have one side be something and then on the other side be something and then if maybe if a, when I really get good I guess um, I can do a, when you're looking down on it you'll see something and then when you're looking from either side you'll see something so uh, and in eventuality that's where I'm going to be going um, but I'm going to use all parts and pieces put together with just whatever I can. Now see I can use these for eyes right here and a, and a nose. It's got kind of a little nose and lots of gears are exposed too so there's a lot of eye candy there. I continually put things together whether I have a whole you, you see an amassed treasure here and you're not looking at the other stuff that I have that's I mean I, I'm, I'm there's something I've been doing too. Well, it's carving. So I've got this really cool stick. Let me get this guy out of the way here. I've got this really cool stick that well, looked like I had a honeysuckle vine wrapped around it, and it just kept kept it growing. So I'm gonna I'm going to uh, carve it into a, a a walking stick, and I've got flames so far. Um, carved into it here. I don't know how well I'm. I have done with this. Maybe get it a little bit deeper and a little bit more round, and then maybe uh, paint it black with and tip the red or the orange, the yellow. I don't know. Um, 
I may leave it raw and just encrust it with crystals. Um, I don't know yet. But that's another thing I've been working on is and then trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this here. I've kind of got some sort of a something or other there. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but I thought this looked kind of cool. It was like his hair was standing up. So it would be like a flat top. And I was kind of trying to get his forehead and trying to carve eyes in there and, and a mouth. And, but I don't know how well it's going to go with this. I'm going to have to grind off this extra piece of wood here so I can get down to where I can get to the tip of the nose so that's where I gotta go before I can conform the face so I gotta find the tip of the nose and work it down from there to make the face so now I must let you let it be known that I have never carved a face before I do not know what I am doing. I have no skill. I am clueless as to how to do it. But I have a Dremel and I have a bit and I have well I have many different bits. Um, but I am going to continue to see what I can come up with. Uh, as a, like I say, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. So this is uh, you know the the desert artist you know this is how I create. You may create differently. We all create differently. We all live differently. We all have alternate ideas of how we can be better how we can be stronger how we can have more drive for me it began when the drive was seen to me by me I saw the value of time time is really what you make it it can be either wasting time playing video games telling yourself you're sharpening your skills to do to sharpen your skills to play more video games you have to in order to become good at something you need to invest your time in something when you invest your time in something that you enjoy it no longer becomes a chore there are a couple pieces of art here that only took me a couple minutes to put together but then they become a piece of another piece of art until I challenge myself to see how many individual pieces of art I can put into a single piece of art because when you take something that's just nothing and you put it with something that makes something that makes a thought that creates an image that, it, that invokes a feeling that is what being an artist to me is. It's hard for me to understand feelings and emotions with my traumatic brain injury and how I say certain things can trigger certain feelings. I don't understand why that would happen. Anyhow, that's above and beyond. So anyhow, that's me, that's a desert artist, I'm out of here.